Okay, so here I am in Daz Studio, and I've loaded one of my favorite uh, characters. It's this uh, Millennium Subdragon, and um, I've given him his base texture here. And what I want to do, though, is give him a new texture, one that I've created myself. And to do that, I'm going to export him so that I can load him up in uh, ZBrush. So to export him, all you're going to have to do is go up to uh, File and Export. And I've already exported him once as a test to a folder I have here on my desktop called Dragon, so I'm just going to overwrite that one. But if a uh, file didn't exist, you'd give it a new name down here. And I'm just going to overwrite the one I've created. Now you want to make sure you have this uh, right surfaces box checked and the right material library in the collect maps. And that, what that's going to do is export the current set. And we'll just accept that. And then I'm going to check on that folder. And you can see here we have our dragon original.obj, which is the object file. Uh, materials file, um, and this, this is the, uh, the Dash Studio save I have here. And I have this maps folder, and in the maps folder, I have uh, several maps to uh, several UV maps for the dragon. I have his eyes, his, uh, his body, his head, and his wings. Now, a few weeks ago when I did a, um, I've d I did a similar tutorial, the object that I exported only had one UV map. And this creates a whole new level of complexity with uh, ZBrush when you have multiple UV maps. So what we're going to do is we're going to load uh, ZBrush, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here I've loaded ZBrush, and the first thing that comes up is you get this uh, light box. Let's get rid of that by clicking on the light box button here. And we're going to import that dragon. So to do that, we click the import up here under the tool menu, and then we'll go up to where we saved that dragon object, which I saved it on my desktop. And then you see it's loaded over here in the uh, the toolbox. So what I'm going to do is left click and drag, and there's our dragon. And I'm going to put it this in edit mode. So now I can uh, click and or left click and and uh, rotate the our model. Now to paint this guy, um, we're going to go in. Make sure we're in paint mode. And that's going to be under, uh, let's see, poly paint here. We're going to click colorize. And um, I don't particularly like this red material, the default material for painting. So we'll go to basic material. Now, if I wanted to paint this, um, I could, you know, uh, change the size of my brush maybe. I'm going to turn off this Z add. That's sculpting. And I want to go to painting, which is RGB. And pick a color. We'll just go with red right now for. And you can see here if I just click and drag across the dragon, I paint. Now I only paint one side of him. If you want to paint both sides at the same time, you can tap the X button. And that puts you in symmetry mode. And now you'll see a little red dot on both sides of the dragon. So I can paint two sides at once. It'll save you some time while you're painting. Now, one of the things you might see is that the. Uh, let me um, zoom in here a little bit. Is that the uh, the paint's not that detailed right now? So if I were to go down to a really small brush, it's not really doing very well here. That's because uh, the way ZBrush works on painting is it paints by vertices. Um, it's a little bit of an old-fashioned way of doing things, but it's the way it does it. So if you want, you can create more vertices by uh, going up to the uh, geometry section and dividing a few times. You probably want to turn this off. Uh, that's the smooth, and we're not really smoothing him out. Unless you do want to retexture him. And maybe I'll leave this on. Maybe I'll give him some new texture as well while I'm in here. And now I can divide it a few times. And now when I drag across this, I get a much finer line of paint. Okay, now to um, start with maybe a better color than uh, just this white here, you can go to uh, pick the color you want. Let's see, we'll go with kind of a darkish brownish color. Actually, let's go with something greenish. And then you can go up to color. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you go up to color and fill object. And that sets that all with a base color. And then maybe I want to use an alpha of some sort. Let's see, what do I have here? Something like this. Let's go back into paint mode. Maybe with a brighter green, I could do, you know, stretch out some sort of pattern on him. 
and I can spend a lot of time painting. And actually, I'm going to jump ahead a little bit to where I already have him painted, because I'm really what I want to show you is um, how you export this back to uh, UV files, which are uh, the JPEGs or bitmaps that you wrap around the model to be used back in Daz Studio. Okay, you can see here that I've uh, gone through and given the dragon a whole new texture. Um, now, normally when you wanted to export this, uh, you'd have to actually create a texture from your poly paint. And to do that, you go to your texture map selection here and then create and new from poly paint. And now normally this would wind up looking about the same. But you see here, this gets all trashed. And that's because this dragon has multiple UV maps. So the way to fix this is you're going to need to click on, you're going to need to hold down the control shift and then click on the region that represents the UV map that you want to save. So we'll start with this body. So I'm going to hold down the control shift and then click. And you see here we get just his body showing. Now if I create a new one from the poly paint, it looks correct. And from here I could save it off. So um, I would just, uh, Actually, just to quicken things up, I'm going to lower the geometry back. Now that create that keeps the um, our texture is just as high in quality, but it lowers the quality of our uh, the model we're going to be exporting. It just speeds things up. So we'll export, and we'll just say dragon body, and then to get everything back, we we'll just hold down Control and Shift, and click outside the dragon. And that makes everything reappear. And now we can do his wings. Um, first, we need to go back up to the uh, full uh, geometry. Control Shift and click on that wing. And go back down. <clears throat> and go back down to Texture Map and New from Poly Paint. And then we'll do the same thing. Go back up to uh, Geometry. Lower the uh, subdivision rate right down to one, and export that. We'll call that Dragon Wings. Wings. Okay. And now, if I actually go to that folder. here under maps. You can see that um, I've got some new uh, bitmaps that have appeared with my maps. I have one called Dragon Body, which has our kind of alligator looking body. Let's uh, make it so you can see it. And that matches, as you can see here, the, uh, the original body color and shape. And we have the wings. Now it looks like we may have to do some work and combine a couple because it looks like the uh, the poly groups came under for the, for the original wings had both the back and front side, and ours only has the back side. Um, we can combine them, composite them together using something like GIMP or something like that. So let's go see if we can find that. I hold down control shift and I click on that side of the wings and I uh, set the subdivision back all the way up again go to texture map and new from poly paint and now we get the top of those wings so we're going to go back to geometry set the geometry back down and export we'll just call that dragon wings 2 All right, so now you see we have over here Dragon Wings 2. So we're going to need to combine these two here to make it so they match this in um, where in the exact locations. So I'm going to fire up GIMP for that. All right, and then in GIMP, I'm just going to load both of those files. So we'll go to the desktop, Dragon Maps, And then I'm just going to select both of our files. I'm going to select all. I'm going to, and then copy this. And go over to the other file. And paste. 
and we're gonna make that into a new layer. And then I'm gonna use the magic wand and just select all the black area in this layer. And tap the delete key. And then we're just gonna save this out to uh, a new file. We'll just call it Dragon Wings. We'll just overwrite that one. And like that, we now have Dragon Wings, which matches the uh, the way the original Wings uh, UV map in uh, location for everything. You can see here between the difference between the two. So, and what I'm going to do is it's a little bit tedious, but I got to go now and find any other UV maps that I may have missed. It looks like the only one I've missed there's the eye which I'm not going to bother to do because I'll use the original eye map. And there's the head. So I still got to do the head. Go back into ZBrush and Control Shift and click outside somewhere. Control Shift and then click on his head this time. And it looks like I'm going to have to do some more combining because it looks like I'm only getting part of his head, not his jaw. So like I said, this could be a little bit tedious. We'll skip ahead and um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so here we are. I've actually uh, finished editing these files together. So I have uh, top of the head and the bottom jaw and the body and the belly and both sides of the wings. So uh, with these files, we can retexture our dragon. Um, now, one thing, other thing I did I wanted to mention is I changed these to JPEGs uh, just because my dad's studio, for some reason, whenever I try to load a bitmap, which is what uh, ZBrush originally saved them as, uh, whenever it tries to load a bitmap, it, it crashes. So... I just changed them to JPEGs. Okay, here we are back in Dad's Studio. And now what I'm going to do to load my new texture is go to the Actors, Wardrobe, and Props tab up here. And we'll select Surfaces and Color. Uh, we have our dragon here. We're just going to select the parts we want to change. So we'll start with this uh, body skin. And all you have to do is click on this uh, little picture here. Hit Browse. And we'll go up to, uh, I have to say that on the desktop, dragon, maps, and I'll pick my new body map. And just like that, I've changed that texture. And I'm going to go through and change the other parts that I want. And you'll notice these uh, these sections map up with the parts that we had to individually click on in ZBrush. Dragon, dragon head, and then we'll do the wings. And we have his underbelly as well. Actually, um, if you want to speed things up a little bit, instead of having to do this every time, once you've loaded a file once, so we have desktop dragon, and do his wings, you can uh, load it again pretty quickly down here. And just like that, we've uh, retextured the dragon, giving him this sort of alligator type texture. So it's a little bit more complicated than doing a simple model with just one UV map, this one having three. But you can still do it. Um, like I said, it takes uh, a little bit of a little bit more work. But um, it can be worth it if you want to really uh, add some texture to your, or add some original textures to the uh, your DAS models, your poser models. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you can find it useful. So thanks everybody. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more or read some of my articles or even check out some of my art, you can find me on my blog at www.introvertartist.com. And here I post articles on how to make art, how to sell it online, tools that you can use. Uh, I have links to my gallery as well as a, you can subscribe to my newsletter here. And my newsletter is something I send out every Wednesday with news on my latest uh, artworks, articles, videos promotions, discounts, and I even throw in a few, a free computer wallpaper every week. So thanks everybody and good night.